what's poppin savvy investors it's your savvy investor dex back with another video and this video here is about um the most uh unique surplus funds case i've ever worked hands down in my short surplus funds career let's get right into it <laughs> All right, guys, so um, I think I've uh, told you guys a little bit about this via uh, my Facebook page. Uh, I think I put out the uh, thumbnail to the video just to let people know it was dropping and it's finally here. So this is going to probably be a um, three-part three part series uh, type deal uh, simply because I was going to wait till I was done with it and bring it to you guys, but instead I said, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm going to kind of walk you through it as I go along. So let me catch you up to speed in the process that we This is a claimant that's deceased, right? Uh, you guys know how it go when they deceased. You got to find the heir. Um, they didn't, she didn't have a will. She didn't have kids. She was never married. She actually was in a relationship, in a same-sex relationship uh, with the lady that uh, lived in the property that actually went up for auction and the uh, surplus fund was created. And I think this one is like 108,000, uh, 108 or 104. Actually, I think it's 108. But anyway, um, we found, uh, first we found her, her, um, I guess you can say her, uh, girlfriend. It was her girlfriend. Uh, she, she was, uh, um, like I said, in the same sex relationship. Um, and they were never legally married. I don't think, uh, mind you, this is like, 15, 20 years ago, this is an old, old case, uh, I don't think that same-sex marriage was even a thing then, so I don't know if it was a possible way that it could be acknowledged that way, so I spoke with my attorney about it, and he just uh, clarified what I thought, that you know she had no legal claims to the money. Now, granted, she lived in the house, uh, she had things like mail saying she lived in the house, she had tons of stuff, you know, clearly saying that she lived there for years, that she paid bills, that she paid taxes, all this good stuff, but she was she didn't have a legal claim to the funds. So that was kind of a letdown, and we get in contact with the brother, her brother. We didn't even know she had a brother. Uh, we found the brother, and the brother had, I didn't want anything to do with it. Anything to do with it. He was like, yeah, if there's any money there, you know, uh, donate it. Um, my sister didn't have much of anything, blah, 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 blah. We, we really wasn't that close. She wasn't close with the family. She thought that we didn't agree with her lifestyles. I guess as it refers to the uh, same-sex relationship. Excuse me. As it refers to the same-sex relationship, he kind of gave me the insight on, um, the, I guess, that gap with the family as to why she didn't have a relationship with her parents that much. She never had kids. And he's our only sibling. And he said she, he, she always thought that he judged her lifestyle, right? And he said, you know, I never, you know, I never cared one way or another. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Uh, back to the story. That was kind of a side note, but very important side note because he told me all that in the midst of us doing what? Building rapport. So we became friends because mind you, this is a guy that seems pretty well off. He doesn't need the money. Um, now granted, I didn't tell him how much it was, but I don't tell, you know, I don't spill all the candy in the lobby. That's just not how I do the business. I'm not in the business of, uh, giving you the information so you can go do it yourself. Um, maybe other people do it. I'm not knocking them if they do it like that, but that's just fine. Uh, anyway, so the guy doesn't want to have anything to do with it, right? Um, so we just make a friend and, and, and I find out a little bit more about their life. And I, and I reach back out to him and I say, hey, uh, I don't know if you know Jamie. Uh, Jamie is the uh, lady that his sister was in a relationship with. Um, he's like, oh, yeah, I know her. And Jamie had been texting me, telling me that she's going through a hard time. Uh, she can really use the funds. Um, you know, just, just, just a lot of stuff. Texting me and calling me. So what I did was I told him about it. I said, man, you know, Jamie's going through a rough time. She can really use the funds. You know, she lived in the house. She contributed to the household. So, morally, I think she's entitled to him. But legally, she's not entitled to him. We, 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 I mean, we'd have to work through you. And 
I think it was like a Friday when him and I had this conversation. And Monday he called me and told me he'll sign up. So he signed up and he said all he wants out of it is $12,000. So I have it set up in a way where once we retrieve the funds, he'll get $12,000 of the funds um, that comes out of uh, Jamie's proceeds. So he basically signed it over to Jamie under the pretense that he gets $12,000 out of it, right? Um, we are at the point in the case where I need to get a death certificate. Jamie, uh, Jamie doesn't have it. She said it burned up in the house fire. Clearly, the brother doesn't have it. He said he didn't have a relationship. So that's what we had in the case. And this case is super unique simply because... Um, I had to get the brother, I had to build rapport with the brother to have him hear me out as it relates to Jamie and the fact that she could use the funds. So I guess you could say I used his uh, sympathy towards Jamie's situation in the favor to help everybody. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to come to y'all and tell y'all that I'm actually about to go uh, take care of the death certificate portion of it. Uh, once I get down that way, I may bring you guys back. I may not. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely see. So, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Might bring you back. Might not bring you back. But, like I said, this will probably be a two, three-part series video. I'm out. Stay savvy.